Yo, what up guys, how are doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reacting to Jeremy Razor's The Greatest Commercial Ever. Okay, if, if alright, that's, that, that's stating a lot. Let's get into it. <laughs> Do you remember when there were two genders and only one and a half of them had to shave their mustaches? Oh, hi. I'm Jeremy Boring, CEO and God King of The Daily Wire. Harry's razors used to advertise on our shows. They're a great product, and we were happy to do it. That's before some mm -hmm. peon who works for me went and said that boys are boys and girls are girls. And that was just too much for Harry's. They condemned our views. Views held by millions of Americans. Oh, that was my question. Virtually every human who's walked the planet <laughs> until about 15 minutes ago as inexcusable. And they dropped their ads from our network because of what they called values misalignment. You're damn right our values are misaligned. And it's not just Harry's either. Gillette razors used to be the best a man could get. Then they decided that men are too toxic. Unless you're the kind of man who teaches his daughter to shave her beard. If that makes sense to you, keep buying Gillette. But if you've had enough of the woke bullshit, and you're tired of paying companies like Harry's and Gillette to hate you. Why are those people following him like that? <laughs> then buy my new razor instead. Behold, Jeremy's razors. Yes, they're real. Yes, they're fabulous. But Jeremy, you say, you're a stelt silver fox with a salt and pepper beard that's the envy of lesser men. You're damn right I am. <laughs> and I want to be clear that shaving with a Jeremy's razor won't actually make you look more like yes, me. you're giving me fierce. You're giving me power. Could make you look more like this guy, though. And that's the most homoerotic moment you'll ever get from a Jeremy's razor commercial. What kind of man shaves with a Jeremy's razor? I don't know. How about cowboys, firefighters, those guys that shot Osama bin Laden? I mean, no, none those of those guys, guys have ever even heard of a Jeremy's razor, but, but imagine how much more manly they'd be <laughs> if they had. Right now, you're probably wondering if Those this whole thing crazy. is a joke. <laughs> sure it is. That doesn't mean it isn't real, yeah. or that it won't be the best shave of your life. Harry's Razors doesn't want your business. I do. They seem to hate you, and I, well, I can't say that I love you, but I don't mean you any specific harm. Our country's in trouble. Conservatives are being canceled by Hollywood, the media, universities, and now Harry's Razors. Stop giving your money to woke corporations who don't think you deserve their product. Give it to me instead. <laughs> hey, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> this is honest about it. Head over to IHateHarrys.com and pre-order your Founders Series razor and shaving cream set today. Wait, is this is this actually a thing? Let's 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 look it up. I hate Harrys.com. I hate Harrys. <laughs> dot com. Yo, there's no way this is. A <laughs> Yo, those guys. You know, one thing I love about the world that we live in now is how diverse it is and how everybody is allowed to do it. And every, people are just exercising their rights. This is pretty quite funny. Um, this was quite funny. I don't really shave. I don't really have much on me, so I'm sorry I won't be buying from Jeremy's razors. But it's quite, it's quite an interesting thing what comes out of one person refusing business with you and then you already start your own business and just call it Jeremy's <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's the greatest commercial ever, but I do like the fact that 
he he was quite honest and i think that that's enough to make you buy especially if you're a conservative conservative fan you know um respect to everybody with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction subscribe to the channel if you're new see you in the next one